All right, we're starting out a day that's going to be just as hot, in fact, if not hotter than we were yesterday. So let's start out by taking a look at the view at the city at its best part in the whole day with temperatures down in the 60s out there right now. In fact, if I put the current numbers on the screen, San Francisco number right now for the city is a comfortable 60, at least in the 60s. It's 67. It's 71 in Concord right now. Oakland's at 69 and we're looking at 64 in Santa Rosa. All right, let's look ahead to today and the concern on the numbers. The numbers on the far right show you what the records are for today. San Francisco, the record's 90. Livermore, it's 105. Concord, the record's 105. And it's San Jose, the record's 97. If I put the numbers in the middle there, that shows you where we're actually going for daytime highs. And there is a pattern on here, which becomes clear if you take a look at who's breaking records and who isn't. Livermore and Concord, you're breaking them. And you'll break the record by as much as three degrees today in Concord. But if you are anywhere else, in other words, if you're not inland Contra Costa or inland Alameda County, it's still a really hot day. But it's not going to be historically hot. You're going to miss the record by five degrees in the city for San Francisco. Santa Rosa at 101. It's been 109 before on August 15th. It can certainly be a lot worse, but I don't want you to use that as any kind of an allowance to tell you that today's not going to be bad. Today is going to be bad as far as heat is concerned. Even all the way to the coast, it's going to be three degrees shy of 80 today in Pacifica. And you can see a few other numbers on here. Napa's going to 100. San Rafael will go up to 97. We'll hit 96 in Vallejo. All right, so if you see the map with all the different color shades on it, we're all included in this. Everywhere's got either the shade of the pink or the orange. It's semantics to really go into the difference here between an excessive heat warning and a heat advisory. It's just kind of apparent, though, if you're in the excessive heat warning, you need to be a lot more... I think cognizant of how you're treating yourself when you are outside. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, find the shade, ideally be in air conditioning if you can, but if you can't, find the best alternatives that are available to you and then hunker down with whatever you do today to get through this because this is only day two of about seven. And even though tomorrow gets a little better, so there is some good news for Sunday. Look, there's, we're only going to go to 101 for inland locations instead of 108. That's an improvement, but 101 is still nasty. And it's still dangerous if you haven't gotten enough of a break because we're not going to cool down enough in the overnight hours. And for next week, we're right back up to near 110 for inland heat. Devin, I know you're a South Bay guy in San Jose. How are you doing with all this so far? You know what? I think, honestly, all of those triple digits in the forecast just makes me sweat looking at them. Yeah. And I think, really, the cruel irony is at the time when people need the ability to cool off, these rolling blackouts just don't help. That's the big problem. That's the convergence of this issue. And there needs to be a solution at some point down the road to keep this from happening. Because these heat waves, they're coming more regularly now. So hopefully we figure out a better way out of this.